As most of you've heard, uh, over the weekend, Standard & Poor's took the historical you step. You someone heard. Yeah, if, if you're not living under a rock, right? <laughs> yeah, they, they, they downgraded uh, America's credit. Um, they've also downgraded Fannie and Freddie Mac's credit. And, you know, what does that mean to us in the real estate industry? More importantly, what does that mean to you, the buyers and sellers out there? You know, should I sell my home? Should I buy my home? Give us some insight, Mitty. Well, I think it's going to impact the mortgage rates, and it's going to Im impact buying power and selling power, right? If we see a fluctuation, a large fluctuation in the mortgage rates, that's going to alter the market one way or the other. And what's going to happen is two, two main things could happen here, right? Demand for the U.S. bonds goes up, which will drive mortgage rates down. Or if everybody gets nervous and starts to pull out of the market and demand for the bond weakens, then rates are going to go up, and that's going to yeah, impact but that, us. But that happens every day. I mean, the, there's auctions Monday through Friday on the government bonds, you know, when they come out and they want to have an auction. So why should I adjust my line of thinking today because they downgraded over the weekend? Well, I think if you're prepared, this is, an, this is a time to take advantage of it, right? A, a big event, that's when true investors, and I don't know if I should use the term investors because you're buying your home, but this is the time to take advantage of the market, right? Because if you get a half point drop look, in the market, what I'm right? saying is you, it, the home is an illiquid asset. All right, you need to have a plan. You don't just wake up tomorrow and say, hey, the market's down. Let me log on to, you know, realestateworld.com and buy something and see if it goes up or down. There is way much more at stake. What, what happened over the weekend is a tiny piece of the puzzle of whether you should be buying or selling real estate. To me, have a plan. If you felt that you wanted to buy a home in 2011, stick to that plan. But you don't think if you're a $300,000 buyer and all of a sudden the rates drop down and you have a chance to, I mean, that's $15,000, $20,000 of buying power. Yeah, right? but Don't look, you think that's an advantage for a seller to go, oh man, I have an interested buyer. I'm going to throw an extra assist out there or give them a credit and bring the rate So you think down. because the market had one bad day today, the book value of your real estate property changed? I mean, are we going to compare it to the stock market where all of a sudden, you know, a company goes up 20% one day and 20% down the next? I mean, that value of the underlying asset is not changing that drastically. So all I'm saying is, look, don't get into the market because of this happened and don't exit the market because no, it happened. It, Things happen all the time and they always get billed as, oh, this is the first time in the history this has <laughs> happened. You know what I mean? I mean, when the government was in buying mortgage-backed securities last year, I was like, wow, they've never bought so much. It's... Come on, you make yourself crazy with, with the media and with this is the but first I, I think, time. I think if you're prepared, you can take advantage of this. I agree. Don't alter the big picture and everything like that. But if you're prepared and you're knowledgeable and, and you're working with the right people, you can take advantage if you're out there. He's Mitty. I'm Rails. That's your quickest.